Let's talk the 49ers, who are on a little bit of a hangover after, to, after a loss to the Kansas City Chiefs in last year's Super Bowl. Kyle Shanahan, sip, um, is the head coach there in this team, and they're getting them back going. Looking at their schedule, Joe, what are you thinking here? Well, when you have that Super Bowl loss, you always wonder, is that going to be a motivating factor for them? Or are they going to use that and it's going to be kind of a hangover that is a dark cloud over the next season? Kind of like what we saw from the Falcons a few years ago when they had that lead in the Super Bowl and they lost it. They lost to the Patriots and they really haven't been able to get back on track since then. So for me, the 49ers mm -hmm. schedule, when I this, this came out, I looked and I go, oh, well, this will be exciting watching them go to New Orleans, week 10, November 15th. That's the second half, the home stretch of the season for them. Are they going to be hitting on all cylinders? Are they going to be playing for that first round by potentially that number one seed in the conference? Uh, going into the Superdome is always a difficult place to play against Drew Brees. So that, that'll be a huge game for them. And then finishing the season against the Seahawks. Is this going to be the AFC West crowning game right here is this going to determine who wins that division uh only time will tell but that's definitely a game that we'll all be excited to watch when uh the san francisco 49ers go uh home against russell wilson and the seattle seahawks that's that's a good question i mean i know they're the the the, the reigning um division champs here but you know is this a team that you expect to win this division yeah, for me, I expect the San Francisco 49ers to win their division. Obviously, both of us, you and I, Hawk, have played for Kyle Shanahan. We understand how motivating and how great of a coach he is, how he's able to rally his troops. Uh, he just knows on a interpersonal level how to push all the right buttons for those guys in that team. And uh, I don't think it's going to be a Super Bowl hangover for them. I think it's actually going to be a motivator. And wouldn't be surprised to see him back in the Super Bowl and maybe even win it this year.